welcome to the session in this session i am going to talk about uh, cyclodextrin based switches cyclodextrins cyclodextrins are uh, cyclic sugars cyclic oligosaccharide okay and uh, they consist of uh, macrocyclic ring they have one macrocyclic ring consisting of uh, glucose subunits cyclodextrins uh, having six glucose subunits are alpha cyclodextrin seven uh, glucose subunits they are uh, beta cyclodextrins and eight cyclo uh, eight uh, glucose subunits they are called as uh, uh, gamma cyclodextrins and uh, in this uh, cyclodextrin the glucose subunits they are joined by alpha 1 comma 4 glycosidic bonds we can see that one in the picture so this is the this is the structure of uh, uh, cyclodextrin cyclodextrin and this is a beta cyclodextrin and we have here uh, seven uh, glucose subunits and these glucose subunits they are joined by 1 comma 4 1 comma 4 uh, i mean alpha 1 comma 4 glycosidic bonds this is beta cyclodextrin and the important uh, character of uh, cyclodextrin is cyclodextrin structures uh, they consist of uh, inner hydrophobic and outer hydrophilic nature they exhibit that uh, nature so this is a cyclodextrin cyclodextrin so on the outside on the outer side it uh, exhibits a hydrophilic nature and, and on the inside inner side it exhibits a hydrophobic nature hydrophobic nature so this is a peculiar behavior of uh, cyclodextrin and it is a truncated cone shape so this is one cyclodextrin this is another cyclodextrin and cyclodextrins uh, naturally uh, they are produced cyclodextrins are produced by some bacteria example uh, bacillus uh, macerans bacteria uh, it produces cyclodextrins uh, for uh, energy storage for energy storage it uh, produces that one by an enzymatic uh, process that is natural cyclodextrin artificial uh, cyclod synthetic cyclodextrins uh, they are produced from starch by an enzymatic uh, conversion and cyclodextrins are extensively used uh, in food pharmaceutical drug delivery and chemical industries and also in uh, agricultural and uh, environmental engineering uh, this is a uh, uh, a brief introduction to cyclodextrins and uh, now we will move on to our actual topic cyclodextrin based switches uh, we know molecular switches molecular switches are artificial molecular machines okay and uh, cyclodextrin based switches uh, Cyclodextrins bind a wide variety of gas to molecules and we can see uh, that here in the picture this is cyclodextrin here it is acting as a host this is another cyclodextrin which is also acting as a host so these two cyclodextrins they they are acting as a host here and this is the gas to molecule so gas to molecule is included in the cavity of cyclodextrins this is cyclodextrin and this is inner cavity in inner cavity this guest molecule is incorporated and here cyclodextrin as the host and this is the guest molecule okay and uh, uh, cyclodextrin is very switches so we can we can go for uh, construction of uh, cyclodextrin basis switches uh, by changing the interaction strength interaction strength between the cyclodextrin and the hydrophobic guest by applying an external stimulus external stimulus may be a change of a chemical environment or electrochemical environment or a photochemical environment or even a, a environmental change i mean acidic environment or basic environment okay by applying these type of external stimuli we can we can construct a cyclodextrin basis switch and by changing the interaction strength between the cyclodextrin and the and the hydrophobic host sorry hydrophobic guest 
this is cyclodextrin and this is a hydrophobic gaster. So, the strength between these two can be changed, can be controlled by applying external stimulus, external stimulus and then we can uh, construct, uh, this is uh, constructing the cyclodextrin based switch. Okay. So, by constructing cyclodextrin based switch, uh, we can induce, I mean uh, we can include or we can exclude the guest from the cyclodextrin cavity. So, this is cyclodextrin and this is the guest. So, by applying external stimulus, so uh, for in this switch, cyclodextrin based switch, we can go for inclusion or uh, exclusion of the guest. This guest molecule can be included uh, in the cavity of a cyclodextrin or it can be excluded uh, uh, by changing the external stimulus. So, this is uh, regarding the construction of uh, cyclodextrin based switches. Next type of uh, cyclodextrin based switches or type of switching uh, observed in cyclodextrin based switches. So, according to the uh, depending on the motion, motion between the uh, motion between the host host is the cyclodextrin and the guest molecule, hydrophobic guest molecule. So, depending on the motion between the host and the hydrophobic guest, uh, we have uh, three types of switching that is uh, uh, in and out switching, back and forth switching and displacement switching. These three types of switching are observed in cyclodextrin based switches. Now, we will discuss uh, the in and out switching with an example. In and out switching, in and out switching, uh, the guest molecule is uh, switched inside that is pulled into the or that is uh, sent into the cavity of cyclodextrin or it can be pulled out also. So, this is switching in and switching out. So, this can uh, this can be induced by solvent effect, by solvent effect. Most cyclodextrins most cyclodextrins in aqueous solution, in aqueous solution, the guest molecule is incorporated or switched in the cavity of cyclodextrin. And when when an organic solvent is added, the guest molecule is excluded. So inclusion of guest molecule into the hydrophobic uh, uh, cavity of cyclodextrin is done in aqueous solution. When Organic solvent is added, the uh, hydrophobic gas molecule is excluded from the cavity. This is called solvent effect. So, this is in and, in and out switching. Uh, now, we will discuss this one uh, with uh, phenolphthalein as an example. Phenolphthalein, phenolphthalein uh, we know very well in, uh, in aqueous solution, I mean in acid medium, in acid medium, it exists in a benzenoid form. See the picture here. So this is a benzenoid form of uh, phenolphthalein. In acid medium, it is colorless. It is, exists in uh, benzenoid form. And in basic medium, when the medium is changed to basic, then it is converted into phenolphthalein form, which is red in color. So in acid medium, phenolphthalein is colorless. In base, it uh, turns into red color. It is converted into phenonoid form. Okay. Now, we will add uh, cyclodextrin here. Uh, say beta cyclodextrin we are adding here. Upon the addition of beta cyclodextrin, uh, I mean by taking water as the solvent here in aqueous solution, uh, this inclusion of guest, here uh, phenolphthalein acts as the guest molecule. This guest molecule is uh, included in the cavity of a cyclodextrin. You can see in the picture. This is cyclodextrin and uh, uh, this uh, phenolphthalein, I mean, uh, which is in uh, previously it is in a phenonoid form, now it is converted into lactonoid dianonic form. This is lactonoid dianonic form and it is included in the cavity of cyclodextrin. Now, the color is colorless, it, it does not show any color. So, previously it is in uh, red color, uh, phenonoid form. After addition of a beta cyclodextrin, uh, phenonoid form uh, is converted into lactonoid dianonic form and the guest molecule is included in the cavity of uh, cyclodextrin. This is uh, switching in. Now, 
to this one when we add the CH3OH then I am organic solvent CH3OH then the lactonide dianionic form is converted into phenonide form again as the guest molecule is excluded from the cavity. You can see in this picture this is cyclodextrin and uh, the guest molecule which was previously included in the uh, previously included in the cyclodextrin cavity now it is excluded uh, upon the addition of the CH3OH which is an organic solvent. Okay. So this is a solvent effect exclusion of a guest molecule from the cavity. This is uh, switching out, out switching, out switching and uh, this is based on cyclodextrin. So it is called as uh, in and out switching. So upon addition of uh, beta cyclodextrin and uh, taking water as the solvent, switching in occurs here and uh, upon addition of organic solvent, uh, switching out occurs here. So this is uh, in and out switching. Next one is back and forth switching. Back and forth switching in most cases it is observed in rotoxane systems. Rotoxanes where cyclodextrin ring can shuttle between two different stations in response to external stimulus. So external stimulus we apply here e may be pH, change of pH, light, a change of solvent, change of temperature. Okay. So upon the application of external stimulus, the cyclodextrin ring it will shuttle between the two different stations. This is called back and forth switching. Now we will discuss back and forth switching with an example. So this is the one. So this is a light driven, lockable light driven molecular switch. Rotoxane based molecular switch. Okay. In acid medium, in acid medium. So here hydro hydrogen bonding exists here. This is the cyclodextrin and this is the 4 amino 18 naphthalamide sulfonate, this part. And this is the diphenyl part, and this is still been, this is the still been, still been unit. And in acid medium, cyclodextrin uh, one H groups. Uh, and uh, still be in COH groups between the acidic groups of still be and OH groups hydrogen bonding exists and this is lockable uh, this is locked now in acid medium but uh, when we add sodium carbonate so unlocking occurs here so now hydrogen bonding is broken here and uh, the cyclodextrin is uh, still it is residing on still be this is uh, residing on uh, still be now when it is irradiated with uh, of uh, uh, UV light of wavelength 335 nanometers, uh, then switching occurs here. So this cyclodextrin, uh, cyclodextrin instead of uh, uh, previously residing in uh, residing on steel beam, now it will move back, move back. Now it will decide on uh, on the diphenyl unit, diphenyl unit. This is switching back, back switching, and now it is closer to ANS. I mean uh, four amino one eight naphthalamide sulfonate ANS. It is now closer. And uh, irradiating, irradiating again with uh, 80 nanometers, uh, this one, uh, in, in this one we can induce uh, fourth switching, switching forward, switching forward. Now see, now the cyclodextrin is, uh, is residing on still bean. And uh, irradiating with the 335 nanometers, uh, we can induce uh, back switching. Irradiating again with uh, 280 nanometers, so we can induce uh, back switching. This is uh, back and forth switching observed in cyclodextrin based switches. Thank you.